वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल इफ यू नोट लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब द चैनल प्लीज लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब द चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू से यू हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट अ एपल कॉन्फिगेटर प्रोफाइल राइट एंड हाउ यू कैन डिप्लाई थ्रू माइक्रोसॉफ्ट इंटर्न राइट सो एज यू कैन सी ऑन माई स्क्रीन दिस इज माइक्रोसॉफ्ट इंटर्न पोर्टल एंड हियर यू विल सी देर आर सम प्री रिक्वेज प्रीज you have to your tenant has to be uh connected to the apple server you can see here mine is connected you see the expiry date so i have already made video on how you can connect your tenant with apple server so this is the main prerequisite right so and this is only for the bulk enrollment method right so if you want to use the apple business manager you can use the apple business manager or ad or if you have purchased devices you want to supervise your devices through apple configurator how you can configure it and supervise and enroll it right so this is actually manual enrollment so let's talk about how you can uh create and manage the apple configurator enrollment you see i don't have any devices so here to enroll ios devices through apple configurator you have to create a enrollment profile right so to enroll your ios devices either through apple business manager if it's a company owned devices or if it's a company owned devices you can if it's a not purchase under the apple business manager program you can still configure or supervise devices through apple configurator but for that you need to get one profile here and then export it and then configure into the apple configurator and then deploy it to your profile to your devices so let's let's go about this article quickly right so you see a how to create the apple configurator profile this device enrollment profile define the setting applied during the enrollment and these settings are applied only once right so what you have to do i am here under the apple configurator as you can see here apple configurator right so what you have to do you have to create a new profile at get create you can you can read this here apple configurator in one profile defined constant that must be set during enrollment such as user affinity or without user affinity so let's talk about user affinity first okay user affinity and what is user affinity and without user affinity so you see here there are two type of user affinity which type of you i mean user affinity it means it's assigned to a specific users that's in the simple layman term it's a without user affinity means it is not associated with the any users right so when you select this enroll with user affinity choose this option for devices that belong to a user that want to use the company portal for service like installing application the device must be affiliated with the user with a user with the set of assistants and can then and can then access the company data and email and it's only supported with the set of assistant enrollment right but if you have a shared devices like many people is using so then you can enroll without user affinity or you just want as being as a it admin right you are in it support team you just want to supervise the devices on configure without user affinity and give to the users who actually will enroll after that so choose this option for devices unaffiliated with the single users use this devices that perform task without accessing local user data apps requiring user affiliations this one when just must read this note when you enroll with user affinity make sure the device is affiliated to the users with the set of assistants within the 24 hour of the devices being enrolled so if you select this user affinity must you can must hand over the devices or activate the, your devices through the set of assistants within 24 hours 
otherwise enrollment might fail and factory reset will be needed to enroll the devices right so make sure this is the actually uh, limitations or note so it's in user affinity okay let me create this one for you you can give name as per your choice and you see he use user affinity associate devices with user authentication is required to enroll with user affinity so you see enroll with user affinity and without user affinity let's select the user affinity and when you select the use user affinity select where user must authenticate her, company portal or setup assistance if you select the setup assistance what I, I, I you just read it here right when you select this one make sure the device is related with the user with setup assistance within 24 hours right okay and if you want to do any of the following set authentication well, instead of Apple setup, use multi factor authentication, prompt user who need to change their password, prompt user. So if you are selecting apart from the setup assistant, you can select the company portal so that it will authenticate through the company portal, right? And the company portal will get downloaded during the setup assistant. You can setup assistant legacy authentication does not support so such a multi-factor authentication so if you have multi-factor authentication make sure you're not selecting setup assistant this is actually outdated right so let's go with the company portal because company portal will support the sso i mean the multi-factor authentication just create this one and let's see the profile get created and let's create one more with without user affinity sorry without user affinity enrollment okay we'll select here without user enrollment next you see when you select the you without user there is no setup assistance like you can you can't select the uh, company portal or setup assistant because it it will just enroll it right the devices will not now you see here user affinity true and true false let's create on user affinity and see what you can see here so you see here this profile has not been assigned to any devices correct it's not assigned properties see we have selected company portal what you have to do you can export this profile right and you see here the enrollment copy this profile URL into Apple configurator with iOS devices physically connected to enroll this enrollment method reset the devices to factory debate and all data will be lost so you can copy this let me copy this one and paste it here this is the setup enrollment URL okay and now go to without enrollment and you see here it's not assigned to anyone you can assign to the devices here you can add the devices serial number let's go to and click on export because it's no user but you you will able to export it so because you will also get this this is without user affinity without user affinity you can just download this call finger profile and push directly to the management as a concern so the devices won't be reset let's download this profile it got downloaded here you can see profile dot mobile dot config right so this is the config you can also make a note of this one it's uh, without user affinity without user okay copy this one okay so now you have created two profile which one you can add the device serial number here also right you can select and import the devices you can select this you want to user affinity or user affinity select these devices and import it right maximum you can import in one time is 5000 devices profiles 
you already seen two two profiles we have created now what you have to do you have to open the apple configurator and click on you have to file and create new files new profiles so here you can give it name whatever your profile ios profile i'm just giving a name i have already made video and you can you can see what i'm just showing quickly you can give it name whatever you want and then uh, and then you can go to restrictions you can configure few of these restrictions whatever you want to do right create this new profile here whatever i mean whatever you want to configure it just configure it here okay and then and then click and here you will see the options to oh here oh there is an options okay you, you need to save it here from the file you can save it to desktop okay desktop let's and close it let's go to the desktop you see i am moving to download so you see here there is one profile which is actually we downloaded this is ios profile we configure it if you op click on right you can install it so what you have to do now click on supervise you have to connect your devices physically right and then import it you see i have already made video how to supervise ios devices using apple configurator you can must watch through apple configurator I, i don't want to make a long video but yeah you can see here how you can supervise the devices here in this video and also how you can uh, create a custom ios profile using apple configurator and deploy it through intune as i have i have shown you just few minutes ago uh, i have just created one profile and after creating this profile you can yeah you can uh, you can save it right i have just created this one and and then you will see you can create the profile and select the custom profile and you can upload it here similar like here so which we, we, have, we have just downloaded this ios profile right similar way you can do this and configure this profile and deploy it so make sure you watch this 85 how to supervise and 104 how to create a custom ios profile along with this video so that you will get to know or uh, how you can supervise the devices how to create this uh, or how we can use this apple configurator right till then thank you have a good day bye bye